looks like an urn. I'm not gonna mess with that. I've already got George at home. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. All right, we are at the Goodwill. Yes, and we are hoping to make out at least as well here as we did over at the Community A. Yes. So let's go in and find out. Yep. We will let's see you guys make later. Some profit. Here we go. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we are at the Goodwill. We walk in the door, and Casey says to me, "I'll go have them turn the music down." I said, "Just a little bit, please, so I can film." So we're gonna turn the music down a little bit so we can film today, which is awesome. I don't have to overlay music, but let's go hit the shelves and see what we can find. All right, so I just spotted this vase. It's got a little dirt in it, free dirt. Uh, but it is marked Betty something 1966 for a dollar. I really like it. I'm not sure if that's like a applied decoration or not, but it's kind of a pretty floral design. You didn't have to turn it off. It's low. <laughs> it's like There's it's, two it's, settings. It's, it's seriously, it's like now I feel blaring bad. Yeah. and then nothing. So Okay. Alright, I'll shop I as fast as I can. I break. It's fine. Okay, alright. I don't want anyone to be mad at me. No, no, no. It's totally fine. Okay. Alright, so this is kind of cute. I can't tell if that is a pig or a sheep. It's one or the other. I think I'm gonna leave it here for someone else to enjoy. All right, we've got another one of these fun burlap bags back here. The last time we had a Christmas themed one, I kind of like this blue design. So I'm gonna grab this for three bucks. And that's kind of fun, but I don't think it's actually vintage. Let's see if there's any other. Oh, that's cute. But no, it's not old. It's not vintage. Um, not seeing much. What is this? That's super colorful. What is that? Yeah, there is a mark in there. What does it say? Made in India. Yeah, that looks colorful. All right, and a shopping bag. The clear and white shelf today is pretty much wiped out. I'm not seeing a whole lot here, so they may be transitioning things. That is kind of a fun mug. Looks hand painted. Meh. Hmm. That looks like it could have a body in it. it looks like an urn. I'm not gonna mess with that. I've already got George at home. like a splatter vase. Meh. All right, let's go check out green and blue. I'm sorry, I should say green and red. Here we go. That is fun, but it's just kind of a little too strange for me. What is it? Mountainside, Naomi something something, 1979. But it's got like the grapes and I don't know. Hmm. got another one of these things and I cannot remember the company that makes this for four dollars I think they're worth like mm, 12 to 18 and they're a hassle to ship mm. decisions decisions you know what I'll do it I'll do it 
for everyone who didn't win the last one I listed, I've got another one now. What is this? I like that. Never mind. That is a gummy bear candle. I always thought I wanted one of those until right now. Hmm, Christmas decorations. All right. I don't know what exactly is happening here. I think this is plastic but the bottom is glass. Somebody used a candlestick and super glued a red solo cup on top. This is ingenuity right here. And I need to hold on to this to show Sue, just because. Absolutely. My next party, it's gonna be a thing. I've got Pyrex plates here that have been here a while. That's kinda neat. These are fun. Mare. Oh my gosh. That is everything. <laughs> that is so strange. Okay, now you guys know I often pick up paint-it-yourself ceramics, especially around Halloween time. And I talk about how the ones I pick up usually are better quality. Uh, this one is just not all that great. This is not one that I will be taking with me. What is that back there? No, it's just nonsense. That is kind of cute, but he's missing his ear. So I got you something. I did. You're gonna like this. Am I? You've never seen one before. Paper, paper cup. No. Wait, that's oh yeah. Paper. We're gonna watch as you figure this out. This is not a paper cup, is it? it it's a red solo cup. Yeah, it looks so and I um glued <laughs> to yes, apparently glued. It's a goblet. Fancy. It's a what trash <laughs> one, isn't it? I just like how much is it? I didn't even look at how much it is. I feel like I should bring that home for Andrew just as a joke. Yeah, just so bring I, home and say, honey. I got you something. <laughs> I've never ever seen anything I, so spectacular in my life. I have never seen anything just I need to make trash. more of these. <laughs> so I'm sorry it wasn't something better. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Oh my god. In this oh case, it has to be. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw that. I thought it was cool, but I didn't actually even touch it. I just glimpsed it and kept walking. Mid to late 60s design. I don't know when the cup dates from. Yeah. I would say not much after mm -hmm. because you know this is something was there only one i, I only saw one. i only saw one um and a couple of little asian pieces mm -hmm. not really very interesting but they're a dollar well this one's two so they're cheap enough and i pick them up and because i got that little name tag <laughs> for juliet um right behind you yeah no this problem is it's sort of a snow globe. Now, wait. kind of. All right. Now, watch. Okay. The footballs are now suspended in green ooze. Oh, that's oh, exciting for an eight-year-old. Oh yeah, even better. It's got a little alligator clip. Oh. He can clip it on his shirt. Yes. Although I have no yes. idea why he would want to. <laughs> but if I were eight, I, I would die for that. Yes, I would absolutely. Just, I would want that. Yeah. 
Uh, totally. Especially if I were an eight-year-old snow globe freak. <laughs> Okay, well they are currently restocking, so we decided to hang out a little bit longer. I found a couple of things on the shelf that I may have missed the first time, including this little bird dish. Probably originally came with a cup, but it's just cute little birds. They look transfer. And also this which unfortunately appears to have been spray painted, but it's a nice little fall decor piece. So let's see what else we may have missed on the shelves. She's still working over there. She's gonna find something too. Right, Sue? Yes, I was just admiring this interesting little lamp <laughs> device. It is an interesting lamp. Mmm, that is an interesting glass. I feel like this is something, but I feel like just one of them is not anything. We need more for it to be something. Hey look, we can make a whole bunch of red Solo cup goblets. I've got a whole thing of candlesticks here. Unfortunately, lots of the little petals are missing. This is a nice vase. I like that one. They've granted me permission to dig through the bins. I don't want to dig too much. Because I don't want to hurt anything. But these... All right, little totem pole salt and pepper shakers for a dollar. And, uh, yeah, all right, not bad. Oh, hello, what is this? Sue, come hither. Pretty little stuff. It looks modern-ish. It does, but it's pretty. It's more your thing than mine. I saw it, and I thought of you. What is it marked? Um... Made in Greece, 24 oh. karat gold. Oh, it is quite nice. Yeah, it it's is. unfortunate it has so many doinks. Yeah. It's a nice set. I came looking for you. Yes? Will you please guard my car? Absolutely. I can do that. And guard it with your life. I'm well equipped. Fantastic. I will sacrifice myself for your cart. Thank you, that's a true. <laughs> That made a really loud noise. I swear I didn't break anything. <laughs> All right, so I did grab this for Juliet. She's been really into Shopkins, and I realized that in the back, it's like a whole thing full of Shopkins. So I know they're gonna get everywhere, but I'd so much rather buy them at the Goodwill than buy them for real. So I'm gonna grab her this, and I don't know what all these other little things are. They're like little hat things. I have no idea what th what these are, but I grabbed them. And I'm checking out this bread box thing. I'd much rather have a vintage one, but that's pretty neat. All right. Well, we're kind of lucked out that Sue parked her cart right here for us to guard because. We're taking a closer look at the the shelves here. I just found these little figurines for $2. There's a really nice looking German Shepherd in there. And also this little Corgi. So I'm not sure if that's a Wade Whimsy or not. Oh yeah, it is. I can see Wade on it. So Wade Whimsy sell for like $3 to $5 typically. It depends on the Whimsy. It's just your average Whimsy. Some can sell for more, but finding the... Unique ones is tough. J. 
Jack Daniels flask. All right, I'm not gonna steer too far from the cart. Oh, there's two of them. Coconut pirate. There's two of them, and I'm still debating them. But also, check out this pumpkin. That's an interesting little bugger. Yeah, it's probably like a Pier 1 thing, but I like it. Yeah. I think I might take it with me. Um, By the time that the Halloween season is over, I'm going to have 12 pumpkins. Or more. Probably more. There's two of those, pumpkins. and I figure that if I can't sell them, I know somebody who's obsessed with pirates. Well, and I live with him. Are those new old stock masks? Oh my gosh. I'm going to give these to the neighbor kids. Right? Yeah. This is just... It's an amazing thing Wait, it me. says... Christian Audig... Oh, it's Ed Hardy. Of course it is. Who's Ed Hardy? He's a famous tattoo artist. I only know because my viewers told me. Because the one time I'm like, who's Ed Hardy? And know, then they're all like... I know who Rose Hardy is. They're all like, Jocelyn. Are they related? I, I don't know the answer to that. The viewers will tell us. All right. Okay, I think viewers, I need this. Is this person related to Rose Hardy? Ed Hardy. A remarkably talented artist and, of course, a woman. Ed Hardy scarves. Yeah, I think I need that in my life. Is there more back here? Oh, no, that's just a fancy hat. That. Oh, what is this? Oh, and that's like a wedding thing, right? Maybe. If you're organizing a very cheap wedding. <laughs> oh, man. How much is your scarf? Is it more? I didn't look. They're usually I didn't not very see. expensive. And I think Probably a couple dollars. Different. You bought that, that that shawl. How much was I, that? I think it was. Because it didn't have a price on it either. Yeah. They're like just a like a typical price. All right, I think that is everything that we're going to find. Are you buying it? Yes, I'm buying it. Good. Love kills slowly. Because it's a beautiful sentiment. Somebody needs to own it. I love my mommy. Mommy. I love my mommy. Oh. That's cute, but I can't get it out. I'm going to leave it there. I don't need it that badly. Oh. Focus. Okay, well, we are done shopping at the Goodwill. Now I decided to wear my beautiful Ed Hardy scarf that I might not be able to part with. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I like it. Uh -huh. I actually do like that a lot. It's fabulous. Yeah. Anyway. And it's got a beautiful sentiment. What do you have there, Sue? Oh, well, actually, Ashton had a bad day at school today. So, he has a baseball to come home to in addition to his little uh, sort of green slime snow globe <laughs> that he can stick on his lapel. But yeah, if I were eight, that's what I would yeah, want. Yeah, he's going to love it. So. We're going to make sure he has a good night. Yeah. That's it. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay, go. Okay, I had picked this up and set it back. Um, and the reason I picked it up was because I liked the design very much. I set it back, I got distracted with something else. Jocelyn just picked it up again. <laughs> of course, naturally, she peeled the lid. I didn't know such thing. There's no proof. No, well, other Maybe. than your confession. <laughs> but, um, and it turns out it's Nora talking, so it is in fact coming home with me. But it's, uh, the reason I picked it up was this is a beautiful mid-century design. And you can immediately tell that oh, it's, it's fine Japanese wear. I love it. So, I wish there was a sugar to go with it. Uh, imagine how big that would be. This is clearly either from a child's set mm -hmm. or from a one service set. In other words, you bring somebody their coffee in bed. Yeah. And this is their cream, uh, which was cute. a thing. Yeah, oh, know? absolutely. I find those all the time. I love them. All right, let's get out of here, my dear. All right, well, I think that was a pretty successful trip to the Goodwill. It started out slow, but then we started finding we stuff. We got a few little things. Yes, yes we I'm did. not disappointed. Well, a young man stopped me on the way out. Uh, he heard the Ed and Rose Hardy conversation. Yes. Turns out Ed Hardy is Rose Hardy's dad. Now, it's ah, unusual for me yes. to know the daughter and not the dad. <laughs> Usually I know the older generation, but in this case, because Rose Hardy is. Uh, a female tattoo artist yes. who specializes in tattoos of women. Interesting. Oh, yeah, so it's a feminist thing for me, but <laughs> yes. So, for a change, I know the young one. 
But he was a very nice young man and explained it all to me, so Aww, I'm pleased. That's great. All right. All right. Mystery solved. So, we will get to see you. Joss is going away for the weekend. Yeah, so, by the time they're seeing this, I will be in England. She will be in England. I will be here all by my lonesome. But I'll see you, Sad like, me. Thursday. I know, but still. <laughs> All right. All right. We you will have a great see you guys weekend, tomorrow. everyone. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the haul video where I talk about everything we got, what we paid for it, and how much I can get for it on eBay. And go check out Sue's channel, Sue Me. There is a link down in the description. Yes, and we are doing design styles through the ages. Um, when this comes out, we will be doing 40s, 30s, 20s. We're going backwards ah. and then we'll be going forwards again. So we're going to be able to do Rocketeer Deco Ooh. and Art Deco. I love so it. two different styles love of Art Deco. Deco. So All good. Right. Fabulous. We'll see y'all later. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.